Hello everyone, I am the Solar Gamer, and we are going to be playing some Kerbal Space Program today. The point fifteen update comes out, and I highly recommend that you, if you haven't already bought the game, go on to the website, I will have a link in the description, buy the game. It's only $15, and this is the prime time for this game. It's seriously, it's so awesome. It really is. Okay, so, let's see. So, a couple of new features that the point fifteen update adds is the new space plane hangar and um, textured runway. Oh, hello. Sorry. Um, yeah, so it adds the space plane hangar and the textured runway. Okay. And if we go in here, I think I could show you. And look what we got right here. We have a new celestial object. It actually looks like the orbit is kind of wonky, too. Look at that. That's crazy. All right, so it's called the. All right, I can't click on it. It's called the Minmus, and it basically, I think, it's. Oh, there we go. All right. Oh, come on. Okay, so it's basically like an ice moon. Okay, and I think it's. I don't know how small it is compared to the moon, because it doesn't tell you. But it may be like three quarters to half the size of the moon. And it's got ob this oblong orbit, so that'll be interesting. I definitely want to use rockets and go to that moon and see what's over there. But I really want to play around with the newest feature that they have, and that is the um, space planes. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off with this... No, which one? Which one do we start off at? Oh, we're going to start this one. I haven't done this one. Now, I did mess around a little bit with it because I wanted to, you know, make sure I wasn't completely in the dark when I tried to present this to you guys because, I mean, I would that would just be confusing. Okay. So, let's put a nose cone on that. And I don't know what this thing does. That's the only thing I don't know what this... I have no idea what the hell this is. This avionics package sensor node thing. I don't know. No idea. But, yeah. That's a cool little command module. Kind of like a futuristic space alien cockpit thing. Okay, so let's add a couple of these. I actually don't... How do I want to make this? Yeah, the space planes can get big. Just gonna say that. <laughs> and they've actually got little connectors, too. Oh, okay. So if you press the WASD, WASD, Q and R, you can actually rotate your objects now. And I believe this works in the rocket uh, facility too. So that's that's pretty damn cool. All right, let's stick that back on there. Let's go into here. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Okay, sure. Let's save space. Does it, though? No, it really doesn't. Yeah. Okay, so what are we going to add to this rocket? We're, what are our goals? My goal is to make a revolution around the planet. You know, just fly around the planet. Maybe go visit the poles, land at the poles. And then come back to the plane, uh, the space plane hangar, and land on the runway, which is a difficult task because I've tried flying this thing, and hooey, that it's it's really, really finicky. So I'm probably gonna have to invest in a joystick, but that's not the worst thing in the world. So what is this? A toroidal something or other. All right. Well, first, let's add our landing gear. So one in the front, obviously, and two in the back. But um, you can hold down shift to get your uh, your thing to be precise. You know your oh your rotations. 
So this is what it normally does, and then if you hold down shift, you can get finer detail. Alright, I'm going to have to connect that with something else. I'm going to have to connect that with this. Okay. Now this is a little bit different up here. This is... Okay, so instead of just placing, let's see, random things... Oh, that one seems to just do it. Alright, you see how it just... It, it is snapping, but um, it's circular. This is angles, and you can only go on the angles. Fly, butterfly, fly. And this is just symmetry. One side, two sides. That's interesting. Okay, well, we are going to want these, so let's, I guess, put them on close to... I'll right, we'll put them right there. All right, but let's add the lander led legs again. Okay, and we will make them face the ground. Yep, just like that. Let's actually see if they are touching the ground. We will call this the Kerbin Explorer. The cor the Kerbin Explorer. Yeah, no, I don't know. That's sure. Okay, so this is the new and improved runway right here. The only problem is that right out of the get-go, you start moving. B, if you hold down B, that breaks your gears, which is good. Um, so let's uh, let's do a little bit of a test flight here. Oh, I did this wrong. <laughs> the uh, it's not supposed to go like this. It's supposed to be in the front. this. Alright. Now this is just going to be a test flight to see how the landing gear works. I won't even really get off the ground. What the heck? I'm falling backwards or going backwards. Alright, break that. Go forward a little bit. Oh, I said a little bit. Alright, fly, fly, fly. Go, go, go. I've got no flaps. I can't fly. Oh, no! <laughs> what is that? <laughs> wow. Alright. Okay. Yeah. So you need to put flaps on your wings. Jeez. All right, and flaps are in command and control. Now the thing is, is that with these flaps, you actually have to rotate them because they won't go on regularly as far as I've seen. All right, come on. Which which one's going to do it for me? Oh, that one. There we go. Just like that. Alright, and you add a tail fin. Because that always helps. And there's also another little flap that goes on the tail fin. Just like that. All right. Now let's let's do a little test flight. Still going backwards. Which isn't the end of the world. All right. Let's turn on SAS. Take off, take off, take off, take off, come on, come on, take 
coming off. Oh, crap. Jeez Louise. Now, another cool thing that you can do is you can uh, right click. Alright, apparently you can't right click on this engine, but you can right click on something and see how much fuel it has left in it. And, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I just noticed something. This drains fuel like crazy. Alright, we're gonna wanna actually turn. Oh crap. This is not a good place to be. Anwell, Raleigh, and Greg Rick. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry, guys mean to do it. Now the landing gear works the same as the moon landers, you just press G. Or you can go in and manually raise and lower the landing gear. Wow, it's actually slowing down by itself. So they must have added um, wind resistance or drag. Because I think we're going to be able to land on the water. Well, not land. Crash land, but... You know what? I may be able to make it to the shore. Nope. Nope. We're going to crash land right here. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, that's just the problems that they face. So this engine is a bust. Don't like it. We can use the basic jet engine. That'll work. I like it. I want to solve this problem of the landing gear, making it slightly move to the back there. And the way to do that is to move this slightly back. Yeah, because it. I might be able to move this. That might do it. Yeah, that's the only problem. I don't you don't really know where to put the landing gear. But I think that'll work. And another thing that we need to do is I don't know, actually. They do have um linear RCS units, which is pretty cool because that can provide for better things like you can use it to slow your vessel down. You can put it in front here if you really wanted to. You could maybe put it under here and lift off like a VTOL, which I experimented with, but I didn't get much success because I still don't really know how to do this. It's difficult. It's very difficult flying planes like this. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to move these to the back and put these wings, which are flaps in them, like in their own. They move with your key commands and uh, yeah I think we're ready for another test flight so let's save this I'm actually gonna just get rid of the two E's because that's bugging me alright go like this and we have a takeoff or we are taking off something like that go 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 yeah this is the engine that you can actually see what's going on how much air is getting into it the efficiency you can turn it off if you feel inclined. Alright. We're not going to make it to those islands over there. Definitely not yet. No, we're not doing that. So I might as well just turn around now. Crap. Yep, that's not gonna work. Okay. I don't know how it's not getting enough stability here.
if we hmm I don't know what to do that would make it better at all ram air intake ram air intakes used to superheat and compress engine at excessive speeds and altitudes okay Okay, well what we can do is we can probably add another engine. Right? Of course. We can always add another engine. I don't know what this thing does. Ram air intake. Sure, do it. And we can put the bigger engines on. We can go supersonic. Yeah, this is going to make it really unstable. We'll put them right there. It'll still make them unstable, but at least it's closer to the center. <sighs> oh, this is going to go horribly wrong. Actually, what I'm going to do is change this with this one right here. And what this does is it actually acts as... Hang on, let's move that up there. No, down there. All right, it actually acts as a decoupler. So, that comes in handy. Move that like that. I don't want to... Hmm. Alright, I think the only way to really test this out is to just, you know, test it out as I break it. So, let's do it. Okay, let's uh let's see here. Oh god. This is not gonna go over well. Basic engine isn't even on yet. I don't even know what I'm going to use that for, really. Yeah, so these are a little bit better. They have a max thrust of 150. This one has 100. And we're doing pretty good. Pretty good. Let's see what we got here. We've got. Uh, yeah, I don't think we'll be making it over here, but we'll see. Yeah, so I don't really know what else to do right now. It's it's going to take a little bit of time. What if we speed things up? What is that going to do? Oh, it's going to speed things up. How oh, nice. Where this really shines is going to be up in the upper atmosphere, but the real problem is that there's not much air. So that's why you cannot leave the atmosphere with these planes, well, th with the atmospheric engines. You can strap a rocket onto this and... You could just get into space and then launch, uh, which is something I might try, but they're not really designed for space anyways. Alright, I am losing airflow, so... I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. Attention passengers, if you look down, there's the ocean! Have a safe trip. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. Fly, 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 go, 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 go. <gasps> oh god, no. <laughs> hey! Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. 
Oh, jeez. All right. Well, that was uh, that was something else. What's over there? Let's go take a look. We got some pieces in the water. What do we have over here? Looks like the wing or the decouplers. Yeah, that's exactly what it is—the decouplers. So uh, we're just gonna leave this guy in the middle of the ocean. You know, Rod, C, John, Free, and Chad—they're just yeah, they're just gonna chill. You know, get some sun, and uh, they're basically just gonna stay there for the entire duration of the game. I don't know. It's cruel, but what else are you gonna do? Okay. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play of Point 15 of Kerbal Space Program. I do encourage you all to, again, go and download and buy the game. Because you will seriously... It doesn't take much to be entertained. <laughs> it really doesn't. This game is just... It's gonna go far. It's gonna go far. It's like Minecraft in its early stages. And that's how you can think about it. So... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more.